Well, seeing as I have a number of compact flash cards and a few of these little ID compact flash adapters and the XT IDE, of course, will take one of these adapters. Let's see if we can actually get the system built in such a way that I can boot from it. So let's see. Pin 1 to 2 is master and that's a default. So JP1 and 1 to 2. So it looks like both of those is default. Would make sense. I'm not sure why that's been cut off of there, but we'll go ahead and hook him up. Take one of these 64 megabyte guys and throw in, and we'll power the system up and see if the uh, BIOS. Is it? Sorry about the glare outside. Oh, well, it's saw it. Quite nice. So I'm going to go ahead and boot from the A floppy where I've got F disk and format. Booting from floppy. You should see the heads move here a bit. Oh, sorry about the jitters there. Uh, go ahead and run F disk. recognizes it. Nope. Let's create a DOS partition. Primary DOS. We're going to use the full, was it 64 meg? Well, by golly, that actually worked. The uh, LEDs on the little compact flash adapter flashed. It was accessing it. it seemed to actually write stuff from it. I don't think I got an MBR written on it. I'll have to go do that. Well, this would certainly be a much nicer setup, which is having the little compact flash as a hard drive. Uh, as much fun as the old physical hard drives are. Sometimes emulation is better. It's already set active. Okay. Format a system P. E. Yep, there's activity. Oh, look how quick that's formatting. Oh, that's sweet. Of course, it's only 64 megs. Not sure what it's doing at this point. Formatted it. We 
should now be able to boot in the new partition. Um, the default is Lexar ATA Flash. Oh, very nice. It's, you know, beating up on the drive at this point. It must be just trying to total up free space. just getting all the DOS elements into the DOS folder, getting an auto exec set up, and we are booting from, you can see the little hard, little light over here flashing as it writes to the uh, compact flash, and of course the floppy heads stepping away there as it does its thing. That's uh, very nice. Need to be serviced, the lubrication on them has uh, gotten very thick and nasty. Well, this is almost the exact copy of what I just brought over. This will bring across printer uh, .sys, and I think one other file that wasn't in my original boot floppy. But uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and keep copying files to build up the partition and uh, have some fun with it. So just a quick view of the card as assembled uh, with the uh, compact flash adapter in. You just saw me uh, partition a 64 gig hard drive and get a bootable DOS onto. And there's the card. You know, this was actually not a difficult project to do. Like they all are, kind of attention to detail, a bit of time. Reading the notes, uh, I think the longest amount of time I spent was understanding dip switch settings, even though there's good notes online. Uh, just so we could get the memory device flash, speaking of which I should turn right off, and now I can no longer accidentally write to that flash device. So, that 28C256. So, there it is. Very nice.